what type of affirmations are you speaking over your life? Empowering you to experience life better. Who doesn't want to experience life better? Who doesn't want to experience a better life? And I'm going to give you tips and tricks and ways on just how to do that. But these are all coming from my personal experience. I'm not your guru, but I'm fixing to help you get your life. <laughs> this is more than just a new last for you. You're always constantly saying affirmations. Are you aware of it? Hey guys, and welcome to Women's Empowerment Wednesday. So I used to do this thing on my Facebook where on Wednesdays I liked to post an inspirational quote or um, have a little discussion about something. Sometimes I would post these really random things and I would try to get this really big conversation started in the comment section. And I thought, why not bring a little bit of that women's empowerment Wednesday flavor to some of you here over on YouTube. So you guys know I am huge advocate for self-care, huge advocate for uh, manifesting and really just for living your best life possible and for taking the necessary steps to do so. I am a little bit of like a self-help addict which is cool because I love reading books that have different perspectives and different ways of really living your best life and following a routine and a habit and a structure that helps you to live your best life. We have a little thing called self-talk and how you talk to yourself, how you communicate with yourself is so important because what you believe about yourself is what it is. There's a quote that says, if you believe you can't, you can't. And if you believe you can, you can. And there's a reason for that because what we believe about ourselves sets the tone for every single thing that we do in this life. So when you think about living your best life possible, whether you believe in anything else, how you believe and how you feel and how you see yourself ranks up there with some of the most important things. And so one of the best tools, best tips, best tricks that I can offer you is start speaking affirmations. My biggest question to you about this is what do you have to lose? What is it going to hurt you to stand in front of the mirror when you're brushing your teeth and say, good morning, beautiful. I am powerful. I am walking into this day with my head held high. I am confident and I am strong. I am smart. I am a multimillionaire. I make amazing decisions. Opportunities flow to me on a consistent basis. What is wrong with stating those things. You know, too often, especially as women, we get up and we get in front of that mirror and we're like, oh gosh, I got a new zit today. Oh my goodness, these dark circles under my eyes. I cannot believe this fat on my stuff. We nitpick at so many things and we criticize and we put ourselves down so much and that kind of self-talk has got to stop. So number one way to improve your self-talk, self-care tip number one, start saying some affirmations. So you guessed it, this video is all about saying affirmations. If you are not really sure what an affirmation even is, really it is just an affirming statement. Something that you are saying that is affirming something that you desire in your life. It's also affirming a way that you wish to be in the future that you may not be now. So kind of technically an affirmation is like a lie to yourself, but the more you say it and the more you begin to believe it, the more you attract that type of atmosphere and behavior and or habit in to your life. When I first started doing affirmations, I would really do these like very generic affirmations that I had heard other people saying or that I read in these books and I feel like generic affirmations work, but after a while, I want your affirmations to be something that is personal to you. Now I'm gonna let you in on a little bit of a secret though. You are basically speaking affirmations over your life all day, every day, whether you are aware of this or not, whether you believe in this or not, or whatever the case might be, but the things that you say and affirm on a regular basis, these are your affirmations. When you constantly say, I am not a morning person, oh please, I am definitely not a morning person. Mornings, ha <laughs> ha. I can never wake up at five o'clock in the morning. Those are affirmations. I can never wake up at five o'clock in the morning. I am not a morning person. I am definitely never going to have, you know, a big house or this type of car or a positive attitude. Can we just take a second to feel the shittiness of that energy? Even just saying those things doesn't feel good. So even if you aren't a morning person, and it's something that you need to do for the sake of bettering your life because you need that extra hour or two hours in the morning to take care of something that's gonna get you somewhere, 
constantly affirming that you are not a morning person is not helping you get there. It's not the way to get there. It's actually helping you stay not a morning person. A better thing to say would be, I feel refreshed and energized when I wake up in the morning, or I am grateful for the three hours of sleep that I am gonna receive tonight, and I am happy and grateful that I wake up feeling refreshed and ready for the day, or something else besides, <laughs> I'm not a morning person. Affirmations are constantly coming out of your mouth. So in knowing this, that means that we have the power, the capacity, the ability to speak only the things that are positive over our lives, to speak affirmations that are positively affirming over our lives. Saying affirmations is one of those things that really makes you feel like pretty stupid when you first start doing it. I have been working with affirmations for a really long time, but one of the things that I used to do way back in the day was I would write like a ton of stuff on post-it notes y'all my bathroom mirror was covered in post-it notes for like a super cool minute and when I say cool minute I mean like two years and I was going through a lot of different things in my life at that time and so I really needed those words of encouragement and I needed to see those things and I needed to be able to walk past that stuff and speak it out and say it on a regular basis so I encourage you that if you're going through a hard time right now or if something's going on that you really feel like you just need encouragement through it definitely take advantage of using post-it notes they have cute post-it notes now because like when I was doing this like 10 or 11 years ago like real talk there were only yellow post-it notes you can literally find the cutest post-it notes or maybe you don't want to use post-it notes maybe you use something else but put those words of encouragement in front of you another thing that I like to do and that I used to do when I taught sensual movement classes is we would do something called mirror work the mirror work is where you would stand in front of the mirror and you would repeat these positive affirmations to yourself or say the positive things and of course in a sensual movement class as women working with reconnecting to their sensuality we would say things like I am beautiful I am sexy I am confident I am strong my body is magnificent the reality is you're probably not gonna believe every affirmation that you say right when you say it and that's okay but repetition is the key back when I was a kid when I was going to school we used to have to take spelling tests and every single week we would get homework that was around these different words that were going to be on the spelling test so one day it might be write a sentence for each word and then the next day we may have write each word ten times each and then the next day we would have some other assignment that had to do with these words the idea of all of this work was to lock those words in our brain to use them frequently so that they become something natural that we know how to spell in that case we were working on learning how to spell particular words for the most part I used to do really good on those spelling tests so don't think that as an adult that same technique and that same mechanism is something that has to go out of the window because it totally isn't affirmations are one of those things that you have to do more and more and more in order to become comfortable with it in order to establish a belief behind what it is that you're saying saying affirmations to yourself in the mirror when you first wake up although it's gonna feel like uber crazy and it's probably gonna make you giggle and chuckle a little bit if you stick with it I promise you you will begin to believe the things that you are saying to yourself and my whole take on it is this sometimes we look to other people to validate us or to praise us or you know and to just be honest like we want people to be proud of us I want people in my life to be proud of me for certain things but I can't expect that validation or I can't expect other people to be proud of me if I don't even take the time to validate and be proud of and speak positive things to myself sometimes not even sometimes scratch that most of the time more than likely you are always your own worst critic you are always the one that is doing the worst damage to yourself so in having that knowledge and in knowing that you can make conscious decisions to change the way you're thinking and change the things that you're speaking out about yourself and about your life and about the things that you desire to have in your life so I am here to share with you today that affirmations are a key factor in manifesting the life that you desire in living your dreams in having those things that you want because you have to be able to see yourself and put yourself in the position of having that which you desire you have to put yourself in a position to where you're doing those things that you want to manifest in your life see yourself as where you want to be and affirmations are the fastest and quickest tool to help get you there so my encouragement for you this week is to create an affirmation that really means something to you not a generic affirmation like I am always thinking positive but really think about what is going on in your life what is going on in your circumstances what it is that you desire and then what can you say about that that constantly picks you up and puts you in a really great mood my affirmation for this week is I am well organized in my space and with my time 
I am well organized in my space and with my time. And that is very personal to me because I am still on a mission, you guys, every single day, like a never ending process to make sure that I have the things in my life organized. I want things to flow easily and smoothly. I want things in my house to run like a well oiled machine. I want to make sure that as the CEO of my house, as the CEO of my business, as the CEO of my life, as the co-creator to my life, that I am on top of what I have to do and organization is really the key to that. Decluttering and organizing and cleaning up and being in a good, healthy space is really important for that. So that is important to me as well as organizing my time. I feel like I always constantly have a lot of things to do and not enough hours in the day to do them, which I'm sure a lot of people feel that way, but there really is a way to prioritize your time so that you can make time for the things that take priority on the list. And a lot of times that means pulling out a piece of paper to make a list of what your priorities even are. Like sometimes we're not even fully aware of what I what our priorities even are so get your priorities in order but create that affirmation drop your affirmation in the comment section below one thing that I truly believe you guys that I truly truly believe is writing holds this very unique power and we don't write enough anymore positive so things. drop me a comment down below let me know what your personal affirmation is for this week and I hope that you enjoyed this little video if you did give this video a thumbs up and one favor that I have to ask of you you guys as my faithful friends and my subbies <laughs> if you know somebody that can use a little pick-me-up pass this video along a share really can go a long way in helping make somebody's day thank you guys so much for stopping in if this is your first time stopping by my channel welcome you caught me on women's empowerment Wednesday so lucky you my name is Addie and I am here to motivate and inspire you to live your best life possible I also do a lot of cleaning videos go ahead and check out my playlist check out some of the other videos and if you like what you see I would love to welcome you to our growing fam you can hit that subscribe button and this goes for everyone. Do not forget to turn on the bell so that you do receive notifications of when new videos go live and daily posts. If you are not already following us on Instagram, be sure to head over to Instagram and follow at Official Growing with the Greens. That's going to be it for this video, you guys. I will see you guys in a cleaning video tomorrow. Bye. Don't forget to say your affirmation.